Pavlov used to be the king of doing weird things in VR. <laughs> this is a little much. This is a little much even for me. Oh my god. <laughs> but then contractors came along and smothered it to death with Halo VR, Battlefront VR, Team Fortress 2 VR, the list goes on. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But I got on Pavlov a couple weeks ago and it gave me one last good cough before it finally died. And that cough was trench warfare in VR. He's a human periscope. Oh, that's so good. Maybe get in the trench, it might be a little bit more effective. In true Pavlov fashion, someone made a World War I map for Pavlov, and my god, it is traumatizing. No cover. Ah, I can't see them, it's all just gray. What are we supposed to do? No, 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 I'm dead. Pavlov was the game that showed me musket warfare in VR and World War II in VR for the first time, and both are still incredible, but there was this gap between them that I never even noticed. I do have a bayonet. I'm gonna stab him. I'm gonna stab him. And this gap is a place with a bunch of bolt action rifles, not a lot of cover, and zero Geneva Convention. Can't wait to get that VR headset with the smell thing so I can mustard gas myself. And I don't know why nobody thought of this sooner. Trenches make perfect sense for VR. Oh! Oh! He just got headshotted by artillery. I didn't know that that was a thing. Look at these barrels on either side of me. That's what VR is about. Oh, I'm being stabbed! Because you get to really be in the trench and feel the walls on either side of you and subsequently feel the exposure of being in no man's land. Magic Johnson, you're being hit with artillery. I don't know if you're aware. Yeah, there he is. Just peeking. Oh, this is the correct way to fight a war. It really is. Post machine gun, pre Geneva Convention. Oh, that was a headshot on Lord Farquaad. And yes, I did just rewatch All Quiet on the Western Front, so I might be projecting a bit here, but they did a fantastic job with this map. I know what'll make this authentically German. Hang on. Here we go. You spawn in a dark, wet hole with what I'm hoping are World War One era songs playing in the background because I was schmoovin' to the German song, and if it's post-1938, I might have just ended my career. Were the Germans, like, less morally abhorrent in World War One? Like, is it, is it fun and quirky to be like, ah, German stuff, if it's World War I, or no? Is it still like, <laughs> are we still a no-go zone for Germany? And after making the difficult choice of choosing between a Lee Enfield, a Lee Enfield, a Lee Enfield, a Lee Enfield, or a Lee Enfield with a scope, you're just in it. Oh! oh. <laughs> you're in your trench. And it's a whole new type of game, having to fight through No Man's Land. Uh, give me the cover, please. I just need to reload, give me the cover. Alright, alright, alright. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Just like in real life, it is really hard to advance in trench warfare when the other team can just sit in their trench and call artillery on you. Oh no. Oh, that guy is so dead. There's no way he survives this. Are you kidding me? Pause. I'm sorry. You can skip this part. You can always skip this part. It just, it so quickly becomes way out of control where no one knows what this is anymore. I did a live stream at 50,000 subscribers. That was years ago and I made tiers for emotes. This was years ago. YouTube made me make three different tiers. I didn't want to. And the third tier I made as a joke. It would be a funny joke for a channel with 50,000 subscribers. It is no longer a funny joke with a channel of over half a million subscribers. It's a hobbit. I forgot about this one. Gunny1971, Mr. Bombastic, Ammo Messi, Nate G. Still think you should play the Wizards. Because Maximilian, 78, Augusta Night Gamer. Ball man will fly you into the sun. This is your chance. I already did it. Fast Ninja. Praise Wall is gone. Ohio thanks you for saying the boy correctly. And Outcast Right is an A voice in the same voice. Stop it. Get some help. Am I facing the wrong way again? You can place down sandbags in this map, which is kind of cool and helpful to get across no man's land, but I'm not sure how well they hold up against the howitzers yet because I keep dying before I get to use them. How do I, uh... Oh, 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 what do I do with this? You can also stick a medic in a bomb crater to use as a mobile spawn point. That was kind of helpful too. Ooh, I'm being healed. I'm a tank. I can do whatever I want. I'm dead. But it all looks so good. The mud, the barbed wire, the white haze that gives everyone this extremely cinematic silhouette. Ah, uh, jeez. Who is doing- This guy's a machine over here! I'm dead. I got stabbed. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's a massacre. It's the best Pavlov mod I've played in a long time, which is a tragedy because every time I get on Pavlov, 
It's empty. This is kind of creepy when no one's on. There is one lobby hosting this map, and I can't even say the name of it out loud if I want to keep my partner status. The server name is, um... The French word for slow? Most of the footage in this video is from a live stream where I had chat fill the lobby. That's really the only time I get to play this map with a full lobby. And it's why, on the Saturday I post this video, I'm streaming Pavlov again, just so I can play it with a full lobby again. Do you really throw a grenade into our own spawn? I don't know why I even try with you guys sometimes. So if you're watching this at any time past that one Saturday, I don't know if you'll be able to play it. I think that's the... Oh. Aww. If that one server goes down, that's it. This map is gone forever. Oh, 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 oh. So this might just be a time capsule, capturing the precious moments that this map gave the world before it disappeared. Oh, what a shot. I couldn't even see, I shot him through his leg. Or maybe this video gets more servers to host this map. That would be the absolute best use of this community's influence. But as long as I get to play it on stream with everyone, I'm good. Let's go, man. I'm the commander. I have the tiny gun. That means I'm in charge. Anyways, that's it. That's all I did this week, besides curse LEGO Star Wars. It must be done. The video is officially over, but I just want to say, as briefly as I can, in December of last year, when we won the award show thing... Hobby147 also isn't with us tonight, but we've just immediately linked up in real time a video connection. So let's uh, let's 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 hear from, from the winner. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> I decided to LARP as a real YouTuber. I indulged myself for one month, and at the time, my favorite creator was doing a partnership with Gamersubs, and as I was watching them as a viewer, Gamersubs reached out to me as a creator, completely by coincidence, and it was a real mama we made it type moment for me. They said we had one year to sell X amount of gamer subs to qualify for our own shaker cup and flavor. And I didn't know if we would be able to do it. I didn't know if this was a big YouTubers only type of goal. All right, someone put pee pee poo poo in chat. I think it's time for me to stop looking at chat. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I immediately regret this choice of weapon. But even if we didn't reach the goal or we just got the shaker cup and not the flavor, I still wanted to do it because I wanted to be like my favorite creator. And in just three months, we are basically there. If you would like to indulge me, we need less than 300 people here to go use the code. The link is below this video that automatically applies the code. I cannot express my gratitude enough, and I cannot wait to start working on whatever this shaker cup is going to be. Even in the midst of the most chaotic battles, I will always be there to have your back. If we hit these last 300 units, it could be a hard stop right here. Oh jeez, oh jeez. We got a runner. <laughs> He's so slippery. He's so slippery. No, 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 not like this. Regardless, whoever you are and wherever you are out there in the future or right now, I hope something good happens to you today. I do. And if you give me the privilege of your time again, I will see you as like a jacked pig dude with a katana or, or maybe like a garand. God, that'd be so cool. I don't know what we're allowed to do. I have a couple ideas, but first things first, the code. Pump the stock if you can. Gratitude in advance. Goodbye. We need less than 300 people. That's probably the amount of people that are here right now. I haven't checked. Really?